Hi everyone, it's Cassandra. Today we're doing a half hour practice that is focusing on the entire body. So we're not spending too much time focusing on just one thing. We're gonna to try to fit in as much as we can throughout this half hour. This is still going to be a calm and centered practice, so we will be moving slowly and mindfully, really taking our time in the poses and being aware of how we transition in and out of those poses. You will need one block and you can set it somewhere close to the top of the mat. We'll begin in a seated meditation. This can be cross-legged or kneeling, whatever is most comfortable for your lower back. Palms can rest on the tops of the knees, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Lift up tall through the spine, shrug the shoulders down, and close the eyes. So everything starts with the breath. Feel the flow of the inhale through the nose as it goes down into the belly, and then up into the chest. And it exhales out through the chest, and then out the belly. Softening the muscles around the eyes and around the jaw. Notice if the spine is rounding or if you're leaning forward or backwards. Try to find that nice neutral spot where you can really lift up. So in the seated meditation, we'll do a little bit of a body scan, starting at the crown of your head. Work your way down, and you want to relax the forehead, the eyes, the cheeks, the lips, down into the neck. Feel your shoulders get heavy. Arms are relaxed alongside the body. All the way into the wrists and each finger. Bringing your awareness into your chest and upper back. Just feel how it lifts up on the inhale and softens down on the exhale. Relaxing down into the lower back and allowing the belly to be soft. Hips are settled. Sit bones are grounded. Focusing on the legs. Relaxing the muscles in the thighs, down into the knees, shins, ankles, and feet. Observe the entire body soft and still. Taking our last 10 breaths here.
Let's close this with one full breath together. Inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Gently blinking the eyes open. Let's bring our fingertips to the floor. As you inhale, lift up really long through the sides of the waist. Bring your palms together to touch. And then exhale, right hand down to the floor. Left arm reaches up and over. Keep reaching your left sit bone to the floor. Relax your right ear towards your shoulder. And you're gonna hover your left hand just a few inches off the floor. Get a nice neck release. And let's come all the way back up, other side, inhale, lift up tall, exhale, left hand down, right fingertips and arm reach up and over, draw your right shoulder down and away from the ears, let your head be heavy, and you're going to hover your right arm a couple inches off the floor. Deep inhale here, and then use the pull of the arm to come all the way back up. Coming into a twist this time, inhale, re-extend the arms. And as you exhale, bring your left hand over your right knee, right fingertips back behind you. Open up the chest. Inhale, come all the way back up. Lift and look up. And exhale, twist to the other side, right hand on your left knee, left fingertips behind you, pull the left shoulder back. Release and unwind back to center. And we'll make our way into a wide-legged child's pose. Big toes come together. Knees go as wide as you would like them to. The wider they are, the deeper the stretch will be. Keep your hips pressing down towards your heels and then walk the palms forward until the forehead can either rest on a block or down to the floor. Take three more breaths in this pose. And let's lift up, tabletop pose on hands and knees. Palms are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Firm up your belly and we're gonna extend our right leg up and back. Lean onto the left side of your body and you're gonna reach your right arm forward as well. So a little bit harder to balance with this one, try to keep spinning your right hip down so the knee and the toes point down. Take an inhale and lift it up a little higher. And then we're going to open up to the side. So reach your right arm up, keep the right leg lifted, squeeze and engage the glutes. Pick up the heel a tiny bit more. And then we're going to set the right foot down to the floor, extend your right arm up and over, get a nice side stretch. And rotate the palm all the way down to the floor, bring your right knee in, other side. Left leg goes up and back. Firm up your belly, lean on the right side of your body, and then left arm reaches out. Bicep is along the ear, thumb is pointing up. Take an inhale to extend, and then let's open up. So left fingertips reach up towards the sky, rotate that hip back, squeeze the glutes so you can still lift that left leg up a little bit higher. Let's set the left foot down to the floor, extend your left fingertips, reach, reach, reach up and over and then rotate it down, left hand comes to the floor, knees in, let's find our first down dog. So walk the palms a few inches past the shoulders, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Create space in your down dog, 
paddling the feet and doing any little movements or adjustments that you need to do to get comfortable. Try to be light on your wrists by really pressing into the fingers and knuckles. Let's step to the top of the mat. Take your ragdoll fold. Relax the upper body. Bend your knees generously so that you can just dangle the chest over the thighs. Bend your knees even more. Let's slowly roll all the way up to stand. Inch by inch, head and shoulders are the last to make their way up and we're gonna draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, palms shine forward. Standing at the top of the mat, make sure your feet are still hip width distance apart. We're gonna take a side bend from here. So bring your right hand on your right hip. As you inhale, extend the left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you're gonna reach your left fingertips all the way over towards the right. Really press and extend through that left hip. You can take this a tiny bit further by reaching your right toes out as well and really leaning into it. Inhale all the way back up and release. Let's switch sides, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, press into your right hip as you reach your right arm up and over and you can go deeper by this time taking the left toes out to the side. Use your core to lift back up hands at your heart, big toes together, heels are about an inch or so apart, bend the knees and drop your hips down low. Rock the weight into the heels, see if you can sink down a tiny bit more while keeping the chest lifted up nice and high. If you'd like to take it a little further, the arms will reach up overhead, strong shoulders, inhale and then exhale, fold forward over the legs, soften the neck, Take your flow, so inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Let's step it back to plank pose. On the exhale, we lower to the belly. Toes will point back, press into the tops of the feet, lifting up to cobra. Exhale, release, and let's make our way to downward facing dog. From your downward dog, extend your right leg up towards the sky, bend your right knee and open up your hip. Keep pressing and wrapping your right shoulder down. We're going to straighten and square the leg so the knee and the toes point down. Slowly and with control, start to bring your knee in towards your nose. Look past your palms and step that right foot forward in between the hands. Lower your left knee down to the ground, lift up. Low lunge, press your hips forward, arms extend up towards the sky. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, straighten the right leg and fold forward. Lifting the chest up, bend into your right knee, we're coming into our high lunge. Back knee is lifted off the floor, right knee bends. Keep your gaze steady on something that's not moving. We're gonna step to the top of the mat, bring your hands at your heart, and you're gonna lift up to stand on your right leg, and then hold on to your left foot with one or both hands as you squeeze the heel in towards the glute. Keep the knees in hip width distance apart. And let's bring that knee forward. Hold on at the front of the shin. Pull it in close. Open up into a twist. Right hand stays over the left shin. Left arm reaches back behind you. Pull the lower belly in. Keep the hips and knees square to the front of the mat. Let's unwind. Big toes together, heels apart, chair pose. Shift the weight into the heels. Stay nice and lifted. If you wanna go further, arms reach up overhead. Palms are facing in towards one another. Sing down a little bit lower into your chair pose. And let's take our flow. Fold forward, straighten the legs, relax your neck. 
halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, we lower. Point the toes back, press into the fingers, lift up, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Arms are nice and long. Keep your shoulders squared. Just reach your left leg up, bend the left knee, and open up that hip. Relax your neck. Let's straighten and square that left leg with as much control as you can. Start to ripple forward to plank. Pull your knee in towards your belly. Look past your hands and you're gonna step that foot in between the palms, lowering the right knee down. One breath, inhale into your low lunge. Lift up and look up. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor. Straighten the left leg and fold. Into our high lunge, bend the left knee. Lift the right knee off the floor. Come on up. We're gonna step up into that quad stretch. So you can bring your hands at your heart. You're gonna stand on your left leg and pull your right foot in towards the glute, holding on with one or both hands. Pull your shoulders back, standing up really tall. Let's release and bring our knee in towards our chest. Hold on to the front of the shin. Squeeze it in tight. Take it into your twist. Left hand over the right shin. Right arm extends back behind you. Keep your right hip pulling forward, left hip pulling back. Let's come all the way back to face forward. Chair pose, bend the knees, drop into the hips. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Let's step it back. Plank pose, inhale here. And then lower down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Make sure your block is still somewhere close at the top of the mat. Working on our balance a little bit more. Let's reach our right leg up towards the sky and then step it forward with control. We're coming into warrior one, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Reach the arms up. Square your hips and your shoulders to the front of the mat. Take an inhale here and then exhale, warrior two. Left foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Right knee bends generously. Looking forward towards your right hand. Palms are facing down. Drop the hips a tiny bit more. And let's straighten the front leg. Bring your back toes in a little bit. We're gonna come into our half moon pose. So left hand will come on your waist. You're going to bend your right knee a little bit more. And then either your fingertips drop down about six inches in front of that right foot. If that's too far away, you wanna put your hand underneath or your hand on a block so you have something to stand on. And then you're gonna stand on that right leg as you drag the left toes back and reach your left leg up and back. Keep your gaze steady and draw that left hip and then your left shoulder back behind you. Left arm can reach up towards the sky or stay on your hip. So you choose if you want to use your block. And if you do have your right hand on your block, try not to put too much of your upper body weight on your hand. Use the strength of your leg to hold you in the pose. Start to look down towards the floor. We're gonna come into our standing splits. So left fingertips down to the mat, still on your right leg. You're gonna fold forward and reach that left leg up. Let's step it back, downward facing dog. Palms down, right foot steps back to meet the left. Hold here or take your flow controlled. Inhale to plank. You can take chaturanga if you'd like, lowering halfway. 
Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's move to the other side. So warrior one, left leg reaches up. And then you'll carefully place your left foot forward in between the hands. Right foot down, right heel plants down. So the foot is at a 45 degree angle. Lift up with the upper body. Just one breath here. And then exhale, warrior two. Right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Left knee bends generously. So solid foundation through the legs. Let's straighten the left leg. Bring your right hand on your hip and bring the back foot in just a little bit. Rebend into your left knee. Choose if you want to bring your fingertips either down to the floor or onto a block. We're going to come into our half moon pose. Drag those right toes back as you lift the left leg up. So you want to keep the hand underneath the shoulder and you're trying to pull that right shoulder back. Maybe the arm reaches up. Engage the muscles in that back leg so I can lift even higher. Take one more breath here and we're coming into our standing splits. So look down, right fingertips come down to the floor as you square off your chest and then you're folding forward. Downward facing dog. And you can take your final vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's set our knees to the floor and swing your legs out in front of you. Getting into the hamstrings a little bit more. Right leg forward, bring your left foot to the inside of that right thigh. Square off to the front of the mat. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead, and then exhale, hinge at the waist and fold. Catch a hold of whatever is accessible. Five breaths. Slowly unwind. So you're going to bend into that right knee. If you know your hamstrings are tight, you'll want to hold on to your shin. Otherwise, you can catch a hold of your right foot. Lean back a little bit and just extend that leg straight up. So you want to avoid rounding and contracting forward. You're trying to lift collarbones up and pull the shoulders down and away from the ears. Flexing at the foot. Take one more breath and carefully bend the knee and release. So left leg out, right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Square it off to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge at the waist, fold. Five breaths. Let the head be heavy. Let's unwind, roll yourself back up. We're going to bend into our left knee, catch a hold of whatever is accessible and the most comfortable, and we're gonna extend our left leg up. Spine is straight and lifted. One more inhale and release. Let's lower it all the way down to our back. Taking up some space, let's pull the knees in towards the chest. 
Give it a big squeeze and maybe rock a little side to side. Finishing off with a laying spinal twist. Reach your arms out to the side, feet to the floor. You'll need to lift your hips and shift them a little bit over towards the right before dropping both knees to the left. Try to keep your right shoulder pressing down to the floor. Let's engage the belly, lift the knees back up one at a time, and we'll move to the other side. So hips will need to go over to the left before your knees can both drop down to the right. Keep your left shoulder pressing down to the floor. Collarbones are facing up. You're twisting from the navel down. Take one more full breath into the chest, down into the belly, and then we'll lift the knees up and make your way into Shavasana, our final resting pose, stretching out the arms and the legs. Get comfortable and settled, shrugging the shoulders underneath you so there's space at the front of the chest, and just let go. Enjoying these last few moments of silence and stillness.
you'd like to take a longer rest, by all means, just stay here and enjoy. Otherwise, we can wiggle fingers and toes and turn the wrists and the ankles. Let's stretch the arms up overhead, really long. And then bend the knees. We're gonna roll to one side. Use your arms to help yourself come up and take a comfortable seat. Hands can rest on the knees or you can bring your palms at the front of the heart. We'll take one breath together. Inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Closing the eyes, gentle tuck of the chin. Just take a moment to acknowledge how you feel now as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat. And blinking the eyes open. Thank you so much for doing this class with me. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you will practice with me again soon. Namaste.